color the color wheel. Now, as we've already learned, all of the colors of the rainbow are in the color wheel, but only three of those colors are used to make all of the other colors in the color wheel. And those three are the primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. So, let's start by coloring these three circles at the bottom, those three primary colors. But, we'll only use one at a time. So, let's put yellow and blue back in the tray. And we'll start with red, because we only take out one color at a time. Now, today we're using the crayons that do not have paper on them. And sometimes you'll need to press down really hard on these crayons so you get a very dark color red and sometimes you'll need to go kind of light. So there's my red. That's medium. That's not too dark, not too light. I'm going to go back and color this again and I'm going to make it nice and dark. And I want you to try to do the same thing. Make that nice and dark. Now that looks like red. The next primary color is yellow. So I put my red back in the tray and let me get out a yellow. Now I want to color in this yellow circle. Very dark yellow. Sometimes it's hard to see yellow unless you color it very dark. And the third primary color is blue. So let me put my yellow back and get out blue and I'll color in the third circle. Nice dark blue. I try to be very even when I color and I try not to leave any white space behind. So, let's start on the color wheel with yellow. Right here at the top of the color wheel, we see the box on the color wheel that says yellow. And right underneath that, we see the color wheel code, where there is yellow also. Remember, the code in the middle of the color wheel tells us the three primary colors and what colors they mix together to make. So I'm going to put yellow in this box and yellow in this box that says yellow. Nice and dark. Now let's do our next primary color, red. We have red right here on the color wheel, and we have red in the color wheel code inside of the middle of the color wheel. Let's go ahead and color these a very deep red. So press down fairly hard. And we'll go ahead and color the color wheel code, the triangle that's in the middle of the color wheel, red also. Now let's color our third primary color. Let's color blue. So I use blue, and I'll put blue right here on the color wheel, and also in the triangle in the middle where we have the color wheel code. So those are all of the places where we see the colors red, yellow, and blue. But remember, we can use the primary colors red, yellow, and blue to make every other color on the color wheel. So we've already learned in class that yellow and red make orange. Now let's practice doing that. 
I'm going to use my yellow crayon first and press down very hard with the yellow crayon. And right here in the color wheel code where it says orange, I'm going to color yellow. And right here on the color wheel where it says orange, I'm going to color yellow. And now let me put my yellow back. Now what other color do I need to make orange? Red. So I'll get out my red, and now I'm going to blend some red here and here where it says orange. I'm going to blend the red with the yellow to make orange. In order for this to work, I can't push down too hard with the red. I don't want to cover up all my yellow. I need some of that yellow to come through. So I co I'm coloring pretty lightly, and here I get a really nice orange color. Now, crayons don't mix like paint does, but we're putting two pigments down. Pigment is any material that provides color for us, and so it looks to be orange. Let's do the same thing right here in the color wheel code. This long triangle above red and yellow is where we mix red and yellow and make orange. So there's orange. Let's try the same thing with yellow and blue. But yellow and blue make green. So I'll come over here where I have the two spaces that say green, the triangle and the color wheel code, and the shape that's on the exterior of the circle. And let me color those in a really dark yellow. It's got to be a really dark yellow for this to work. So color in nice and hard. Those two boxes that say green. And what other color do we need to make green? Blue. So let's get out our blue. For this to work, we can't color really hard. Can't make it very dark blue like this one. We need to go light. So I'll start by coloring really light so I can see some of that yellow through my blue. And that is how I make green. If I don't have a green crayon, like I don't have a green crayon today. And I'll do the same thing inside of the triangle in the color wheel code. And I do see green there. I see green. Next, we need to blend red and blue together to make purple. So with these, we're going to press down medium with both of them. And I'm going to color red into this triangle that says purple. And red into this quadrilateral that says purple. medium. Now I'll do the same thing with, what's the other color we need to make purple? Blue. Medium hard. I see the purple. Do you see the purple? There's our purple. Now, all we have left on our color wheel are what are called the intermediate colors. So, in between yellow and orange, we should have yellow-orange. That's mostly yellow and really light orange. And in between orange and red, we should have red-orange. Mostly red, and you can just see a little bit of orange in it. So, we go from yellow here to red here, and the orange gradually increases. So there's more yellow on this side and more red on this side. I'm going to start with the yellow. Remember, for this to work, I need to press down really hard with yellow. It's not 
is dominant of a color as blue or red. So I press down really hard with the yellow. And then I'm going to come right here and press down soft with the yellow because I want more red to show through right there. So I'm pressing much softer. Then we'll use red. We're going to start mixing. We're going to make our red orange here. So I press down medium hard with the red. I want to see some of that yellow coming through. Then I have my orange next door. And then right here, I'm going to go really, really light with the red. That's supposed to be mostly yellow with just a little bit of orange. So I had just a little bit of red. I'm going to add a little more red to my orange space. And a little more yellow to my red orange space. There we go. That's that portion of the color wheel. Now, when we go across the bottom, we need to do the same thing. This color is red-violet. It has more red and less violet or purple. And this color is blue-violet. It has more blue and less violet or purple. So let me press down pretty hard right here at red and violet. then lightly here at blue violet. Then we'll use our blue and at red violet we'll press down very light. It wants to be mostly red. Remember it's red violet. Since it says the name red first there's more red than violet or purple. And then at blue-violet, it wants to be mostly blue. So we'll press down harder. It's mostly blue with a little bit of violet, a little bit of purple in it, which we're creating by blending in the red. That turned out good. And the one in the middle should be equal, red and blue. Let's move around the color wheel to blue-green and yellow-green. We're going to start with yellow, press down very hard at yellow-green, and at blue-green, press down lightly. Let's get our blue, the last color we need, at blue-green. We're going to press down medium hard. We want to see a little bit of that yellow coming through, but it should look more blue than green or yellow. And here at yellow green, we'll press super light with the blue so that we see mostly yellow with just a hint of so this is called a spectrum. When it moves from a lighter color to a darker color and back around to the lighter color again. That's your color wheel. Please write your name on it. And don't forget the secret code in the middle of the color wheel that tells you how to mix all of the other colors in the rainbow.